Kanye's got new drama over the weekend, this time with Pete Davidson and still about this custody issue with Kim. And I'm going to talk about this latest custody war, what it's like to have custody drama with a narcissist. It's a whole lesson on what to do, what not to do with co-parenting with a narcissist. So I'm going to break it all down for you in this video. So you're definitely not going to want to miss it. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung. I am an attorney. I'm also a narcissist negotiation expert. I've helped thousands of people personally and millions of people on this channel go from lives of drama, trauma, and chaos to step into lives of freedom, possibility, and purpose. I want to help you do the same thing. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell before we go any further. Okay, so over the weekend... There was all kinds of a flurry, drama, trauma, chaos in the lives of Kim and Kanye. When Kanye posted all kinds of stuff, well, it was kind of like ostensibly sort of talking to God or something where he was saying, hey, God, help me, help me get my kids to church, specifically North. He wanted to take North to church. He was saying that he was angry because Kim was posting more videos on TikTok and he really doesn't like that. Now, Kim, honestly, he's been saying this for months. He doesn't like that she's posting these videos on TikTok. And, you know, she continues to do that, which is not necessarily a good thing because obviously she's provoking this. She's baiting him too. And this is causing more drama, drama, chaos on his part as well. Apparently there was a flurry of text messages between Pete Davidson, her new boyfriend and him, which he then went on to post publicly which I don't think obviously Pete meant for them to be posted publicly, but there they were posted. He started off by saying, hey, man, you know, she's a great mom. And why don't we try to have a conversation? Why don't we just talk to each other? Maybe why don't you try to get some help? But basically, Kanye was sort of baiting him and ended up getting Pete sort of upset and emotional. And Pete ends up saying, hey, I'm in bed with with your wife. And of course, Kanye, in his rant of messages, kept referring to Kim as his wife, which is she really his wife anymore when they're divorced? You know, not really. Right. But the whole thing really kind of had me thinking about what is it like to continue to be co-parenting with a narcissist? And I just thought this is such a good lesson for all of you out there that are trying to co-parent with a narcissist. And I thought, what better way to draw attention on the do's and don'ts of co-parenting with a narcissist and a good lesson in what to do and what not to do when you're trying to co-parent with a narcissist. Apparently, Kim and Kanye do not have a structure parenting agreement in place. That's a big no-no, for one thing. You definitely want to have a structured parenting agreement in place. You really shouldn't even be separating without a structured parenting agreement in place. You shouldn't even be living in separate houses without a structured parenting agreement in place. You really need to have a very, very specific parenting agreement in place. It should be as specific as you possibly can. So that is a lesson in what to do. Number one, to do. Do not move out 
without a structured parenting agreement in place if possible. Number two, don't have your significant other be trying to talk to your new boyfriend, be trying to talk to your ex-husband and intervening on your behalf like that, especially be saying, hey, I'm in bed with your wife and sending photos of you like in naked in bed. That is so much of an instigation, right? And here he is basically baiting Kanye. Not good. I mean, and Kanye is kind of baiting him. And what does that do? Number one, it gives Kanye narcissistic supply. Number two, all kinds of trial exhibits potentially down the road, which is not going to be good for Kim because if they end up having some kind of trial over the custody, all of this is going to come to light. All this flurry of text messaging, everything that's going back and forth here ends up being potential trial exhibits. It's not going to be good for Kim. And frankly, all this stuff that Kanye has been posting, this diarrhea of the mouth and everything that he's been posting is going to be something that can be used against him too. Remember that anything that you put your hand to is a potential trial exhibit, you know, and all that stuff becomes leverage, things that can be used against you. And I have a whole video on that, which you can definitely check out. This is the real leverage against narcissists, which I highly recommend that you check out as well. These are the things that end up being used against you. And another thing that they should be doing and that you could be doing if you're dealing with a narcissist is instead of back and forth using texts and things like that, is they could use one form of communication. And I do highly recommend if you are dealing with a co-parent who's a narcissist is use something like an app. You know, there's a lot of different apps out there that you can use that are specifically designed for co-parenting. And I highly recommend that if you are in a court battle that you have the court actually order that you use the app because that way, if they don't use the app, you can actually file something with the court that says, hey, they're not using the app. And you can actually order that the court make them use the app rather than, you know, all these different ways that they can like make your life miserable. And, you know, how they do, they, they use 50 different ways to communicate with you to make your life miserable. So I would say that, Playing all this out in the public eye is actually just giving Kanye a forum for his narcissistic supply. Baiting is, is also a form of narcissistic supply. By taking the bait, they're giving him narcissistic supply. And then the reaction is also all kinds of things that people can be using as court, as trial exhibits, all those sorts of things, all kinds of do's and don'ts in this particular situation, fatal errors that can potentially be used in court. So those are my do's and don'ts in custody battles and a great lesson in what to do, what not to do when you are in a custody war in a co-parenting situation with a narcissist. So I wish any of you who are dealing with a narcissist on the other side the best of luck. And I certainly wish the best of luck to both Kim and Kanye because there are real kids involved in this situation. Just remember that you can do this and say, I want you to say namaste to yourself and put that in the comments below. Namaste, you know, I honor the light in yourself and in others. And, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then make sure that you do that now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you are negotiating, make sure you grab my free crush, my negotiation prep worksheet at winmynegotiation.com. And feel free to join my free private Facebook group, which is a support group as well. Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. 
And remember that today is a great day to start negotiating your best life as always. And remember to slay. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video.